What are you doing with all of this, Kibena? I'm collecting fruit and vegetable scraps for the animals. The forest is getting so dry that they're running out of food. Tiny Tembo told me that the animals never waste food like we humans do. They use every last scrap, even the peels. So I'm collecting them from the neighbors to take to the forest. Can you help? Of course, but we need you to help us too. We need to learn about climate change and the climate emergency. So we can convince Shiko to come build his power plant in Kokotoa. And so we can help Nina's friends who lost their school in a flood. Oh yeah, and that too. Sorry, Nina. I think I know what causes climate change. Isn't it greenhouse gases? Remember, Koba, that time in Mzekigo's greenhouse? Mm. So what I remember is that when we burn fuel in a car or motorcycle, or burn charcoal for cooking, or even when we burn our trash, that burning releases carbon dioxide into the air, and carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. I'm starting to remember. The greenhouse gases traps heat on the earth, just like how Mzekigo's greenhouse traps in the heat from the sun for his plants. But this is happening to the whole world? Yeah, the greenhouse gases trap the sun's heat and warm the earth up like a big blanket. So that explains why it's getting so hot in Kokotoa. And too dry to grow avocados. We have to fix this. Climate changed Kokotoa. I'm trying to, but I can't keep up. Hey friend, it's good to see you. Tell us. What exactly are you doing to try and fix climate change? Well, I'm doing what all plants do. Taking carbon dioxide out of the air. That's right, my girl. And I'm storing it in my parts as I grow. Cool! It's all part of the carbon cycle, but the cycle is unbalanced. You humans are releasing carbon dioxide and greenhouse gases into the atmosphere faster than we plants can pull it out. Don't you know, when we plants die, as long as no one comes along and moves us, our bodies slowly get broken down and buried into the ground by the forest. Over many, many years, the carbon from our bodies gets buried even deeper and the pressure and heat in the earth pushes all the carbon together and squeezes everything else out. After about millions of years of that, well, the carbon from our bodies has turned into coal. It happens to other plants too. Some turn into the petroleum oil you burn in your cars and use it to make plastics. Some turn into natural gas that you burn for cooking. These are called fossil fuels. Wow! I'd heard that word but never understood it. So when we dig up coal and oil and gas and burn them? We're releasing the carbon from our buried ancestors, which was deep down and peacefully under the ground. Oh. Oh. People used to live in balance with nature and we thrive together. But over the past hundred years, many countries relied on digging up and burning fossil fuels to create cheap power and grow quickly. And they cut down so many of us trees who do the hard work of taking the carbon back out of the air. These countries, which people like to call developed countries, created a way of living that is changing the climate everywhere. But that's not fair. Those people did those things. And now we're having droughts in Kokotoa? No wonder she wants to build a coal-fired power plant. We should get the chance to use those fossil fuels just like those places did. No, Koba. That will only make things worse. But we didn't cause the problem, Nina. Just because this problem started long before you were born doesn't mean that you can't do something to stop it. Now get moving along. I've got to keep pulling this carbon out of the air. Thank you. You're right. We have to do something. Climate change could dry up the whole world if we don't do something about it. But... My friends say that climate change caused the cyclone that flooded their school and their homes. It's not making everything dry, it's making everything wet. Hmm, that's strange. Why is climate change causing one thing here in Kokotoa and something completely different there? Because the climate is changing all over the world! But that's affecting the weather in different places in different ways. Hi, Mama Hi, Mama 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 Hi kids. If you want to learn about climate change around the world, then it's lucky I'm around because we birds see far more than most. 
My friends, the plovers, were migrating through Australia and saw bushfires burning as far as the eye could see. But over on the other side of the world, my friends, the geese saw the ice of the Arctic melting and the polar bears losing their homes. The climate is changing all over the world, and that's causing all sorts of extreme weather. From floods and cyclones to boiling hot temperatures, we birds can see that these things are all connected. You humans fly all over the world now, too, in your jet planes, but you still forget that what each one of you does affects everyone else, too. Sounds a lot like Utu, Mamandege. That's exactly right! Utu means that each one of us needs to act in a way where we recognize the impact of our actions on others. Never miss out on new Ubaldo Kids videos ever again. Subscribe today and become the first to know every time new fun educational content is available. Simply type Ubaldo Kids English on the search bar. Click on the Ubaldo Kids English channel page. Click subscribe on the right hand corner of your screen. What are you waiting for? You are three easy steps away from joining the Ubaldo Kids family.